All right, y'all, it's been a long time since I gave an update on the fish room and the tank. Mostly because YouTube kind of sucks with their new rules. But anyway, let's just get to it. It's a terrarium, nothing living in it right now. All life plants, doing great. The nano tanks are empty right now. I'm actually going to be converting them into saltwater aquariums coming up hopefully in the future we got the fish PC but the main reason for the video this is the 200 gallon plywood bottom aquarium I built going on six years ago a lot of people said it wouldn't work said it fail I have not had any leaks any problems whatsoever my only regret, the only thing I would change about this tank is I wish I had made it bigger. And by bigger, I mean I should have gone with thicker glass so I could make it deeper. The footprint's pretty good, but if I could have it, I don't know, maybe four inches deeper at least. That'd be nice. I mean, this size has been pretty good. I, I can't complain too much. I've been able to do pretty much whatever I want in here, but you know, if you keep fishing, you know, bigger is better. But anyway, yeah, it's uh, all live plants. They're doing great. I got into some big cichlids a while ago and kind of killed my hopes of having nice plants in this tank for a bit but the island all life plants it's all living rooted into the tank got me some duckweed all the filtration all the not so nice filtration is hidden behind that island but yeah just give another another quick look all these live plants the water is a little kind of tea colored a little brown just because I did add some newer driftwood took about a year to get where the water was running clear completely clear and then of course I decided hey I need new driftwood so maybe maybe about another year before it's running completely clear but right now mostly got um, just kind of got peaceful Nano fish and snails. I do have two red tail sharks. They're semi aggressive, but really they don't nip or anything. They'll just chase some of the other fish around. But I do like they kind of keep uh, things stirred up, keep the other fish moving. And uh, red tails, I didn't realize it until I put them in. They actually eat a lot of algae. I'd say they eat as much algae as my Siamese algae eaters do. So, if you're looking for algae control and an interesting, good looking fish, red tail shark's pretty good. We got our neon tetras, a staple in planted tanks. Uh, some new fish I just got that are some of my favorites right now are if I can find them. There's one. Galaxy Resbora or Celestial Pearl Danio. I'll go by either name. I got six of them in there. I'd like to get about 20 or so. They're really hard to find in my area. Then another fish I'm really, really enjoying is uh, these dwarf neon rainbows. There we go, I got two of my pretty males right here. I was really bummed, I'm gonna have to try again. I bought, well, like 15 of them. And had about four females and the rest male. I probably need to try again and do more females because I wound up, I don't know if maybe I added them too soon or I just had too many males. I'm not sure what the issue was, but I lost all of them except for two females and two males. 
but the ones that are left are looking real healthy and happy. Hopefully I can try again. So really enjoy them. And then right here we have a white cloud minnow. We got quite a few of them in here too. And then I got a ton of these uh, little feeder guppies. I got like 10 of them for a dollar. Threw them in here and now I have hundreds. <laughs> so anyway, it's a quick rundown. Uh, finally, finally getting an escape, kind of how I want it. Got the island growing out of with the driftwood. It just kind of looks like, uh, it's hard to see with all this glare, but just looks like an old dead stump clinging on to the rocky shore. And then all the plants growing out of that. And then I just got it spread down in the water. Got a nice, good mix of, of plants in here. A lot of diversity. Always looking to add new species. And depending on how this video does, I might do an update in another six years. So if you got any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, I'm pretty good about answering them. But plywood tank is great. Catch y'all later.